This video consists of one quick example of taking a square root with Napier's bones. Um, in order to do this, we will need an extra bone or extra rod that's a little bit wider than the others, and that is the square root rod. Now, actually, the only part of this rod that we really need in order to do our calculations is the first column. And you'll notice that this has all the squares. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, all the way down to 9 squared is 81. The other two columns are simply the digits from 1 through 9, and then they're doubles. And that's because part of the process involves multiplying by 2, and the point of Napier's bones is that you don't have to know your multiplication tables at all, not even knowing how to do times 2. So the problem I'll be working is to find the square root of 1,849. And so what we start with, well, we'll start with this rod, but let me start writing the problem as well. We take the 1,849 and we split it into groups of two. So I'm going to put a point. This is not a decimal point. It's just a mark of splitting the um, digits up so that they're in groups of two. And so what I do is, starting on the left, I look for the square that is closest to 18 without going over. And I'm just covering these other columns just so that we're focused on exactly what we need. As I look down the list, I see that there's a 16. That's the closest that I can get to 18 without going over. And 16 is 4 squared. So 4 is going to be the first part of my answer. Now what we need to do, and the reason that these extra two columns are here, is that we need to make, take this 4 and double it. Multiply it by 2. Okay. So we're going to subtract here. This gives us 2, and then we bring down the rest. The reason we did this doubling is that it tells us what rod we're going to need in order to continue the process. And where that rod is going to go is right in front of the square root rod. So at this point, we're looking for the smallest number that goes into 249 without going over. Now, if this number to begin with is a perfect square, I'm going to find 249. It's going to go in exactly. And as I go down, I actually see that right here, 249. We're always adding down the diagonals. So I've got a 0 plus 4 in the middle. So this is 249 sitting right next to the 3. And so that 3 is the second part of our answer. Therefore, the square root of 1,849 is equal to 43.